Hey guys, Antred, I'm here. Cayman Films here. And welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today we are showing you guys the 18th weekly snapshot for 2012. Uh, but because the, the updates that are included with the snapshot are a little bit unconventional, uh, we decided to do an unconventional snapshot review. Yeah. And as you can see here, if I hit tab, we have like 60 people or so on a server and we are messing around. And this is just a server, I believe, that's just hosted off of someone's computer. I'm not really too sure, but as you can tell, there's next to no lag here because uh, one of the main updates that was implemented with the snapshot is that, and this is something a lot of people are getting confused about, is that the... And as you can see, there was no lag with that TNT explosion there. Um, Wasn't the, me this time. <laughs> right? Not me either. Like, it's, it, I was trying to get people to set, set as much TNT as they could. But yeah, that didn't work. But anyways, the single player and multiplayer like logic are the same now. So like things like world generation um, and player movement. I, I don't know exactly the 100% everything that's changed, but a lot of things just work differently now. And as a result, causes a, a lot less lag than you would expect. Like look at all the people down there that are just moving smoothly. They're not moving smoothly on my end, but I don't even know why. It's not my <laughs> internet. <laughs> it's definitely not my internet, is isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, but the way Mojang actually describes this is that it works more like Minecraft Pocket Edition now, and that that only apply like only like 0.2% of my audience is gonna understand because only 0.2% of them have probably even taken advantage of it. But anyways, um, so yeah, I actually have chat turned off, so you know yeah, you can't too. see it or anything. But um, I don't know. Do you wanna mention anything else that the snapshot has to offer? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, like we the have little a... the little problem you had earlier. Oh yeah, so I gave Ant this footage too, so you guys can see it on his end as well. And as he's going up with the TNT. Um, the way it is in single player now is that it treats your single player like it's a server too. And if your world is old enough and not Anvil or something, I don't even know, but um, it will reject you and say you can't connect to it when it's your own locally hosted single player world. <laughs> yeah, because like, uh, even though like with multiplayer it's less laggy, in single player it's a little bit more laggy because if you like punch mobs and stuff, um, it's a little laggier. And the reason why that happens is because, like I said before, the single player- Oh crap, TNT's going off. Okay, we gotta watch this. Oh, here we go. Yeah, like, as you can see, and it seems like when massive amounts of TNT go off, the game doesn't try and play all of the sounds. It only plays, like, one, no, one. It's, it's more like area sound, like, if it's far away, you don't hear it. Yeah, something like that. But, um, what were we saying before? Oh, yeah, like, single player lags a little bit more now because whenever you log in to, through single player, it actually is just putting you on your own locally hosted server. Um, so, like, the ill effects of multiplayer where, like, mobs lag when you punch them happens. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and also you can't create a creative mode server currently with a snapshot. It's broken. Yeah, it's, it's just kind of a bug, so it's not something that uh, it really is, like concernable but i uh, just to knock the rest of the things off of the list here um i don't know like do you have the wiki pulled up or do you want me to read off the stuff i guess you can read off it okay well i mean like i said the separated server logic and client all that stuff you know we just kind of talked about um when you install the snapshot all of your texture packs get deleted which is a little unfortunate i guess um there's a few fixes that were added to silk touch and uh block picking so yeah like i guess there were problems with silk touch before i'm not really too sure uh wooden tools can now be used in furnaces cocoa beans are now obtainable from jungle trees villagers uh, when spawned from eggs will have like a random profession and i'll show you guys what that means here um, so I know I'm just kind of rushing through them, but that's just because these are like the more or less the non-important things. But yeah, so as you can see, when I spawn them, they now have the random little jackets. And now it is snowing. snowing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. Um, what is it? Oh, is thunder it snow. Is it toggle downpour? It's do toggle downfall, but I can okay. do it. Toggle oh. downfall. Or you can do it. There we go. Cool. So, yeah, and for those of you who never knew about that command, um... It's still I, I, snowing on my end. <laughs> it's still snowing here, too. Maybe that just is, like, completely broken at this point. Wait, let me... Did you do it with your chat settings on? Uh, no. Uh, well, I did it with my chat settings set to hidden. You got it to commands only. Let's... You have to... Remember, it doesn't work if you have it off. Yeah, I know. I had it set to commands only, so the command should work. Oh, huh, it really but. should, but it's... Oh, there we go. Mine did it. Okay, well, there, I guess. I may, Maybe someone did it at the same time as I did or something. But yeah, um, and the, the last real quote-unquote notable update for this is that uh, uh, hardcore mode is quote-unquote available on multiplayer. Don't really see how that works. Like, wh what is it like when one person dies? The whole um, world goes away. The whole world goes away. Oh, God. You're going to kill that poor innocent person. 
<laughs> he, he, he done died. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the chat on here. Um, so, yeah. Um, chat shown. There we yeah, go. First thing I see said is Lithuania. <laughs> that, that is a place. Yeah. Um, so do you think there's anything else that we really have to cover in the snapshot well, other than like, did, like, did I mention that you can't push people? I don't know if I did or not. Oh, no, you didn't yet. Yeah, like, like seriously, whenever someone's AFK on a server, don't you just always have the raging temptation to push them? Off a cliff. You can't do it anymore. Like and you can also go inside people. Uh, oh, oh, and let me uh, let me stand on this platform over here so we, I can really prove it. Like, so <gasps> you don't... Yeah, see, so you don't feel that it's like some something weird. And go ahead and stand on this real quick, just okay. to you know, so people are super duper sure. Yeah, yeah like he can crouch right here, nothing. I can just... land. There we go. Yeah, yeah. Oh ooh, gosh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Knock that guy off. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so cruel. But yeah, so. I think that's about it for this snapshot, though. I think that really is about it. Um, I know that uh, another thing that was implemented as well are server textures, and I'm not 100% sure how to get how to set that up. Uh, because I'm not hosting this server, I unfortunately cannot show it to you guys um, So because the person did not implement it. But I know that there is a way to set it up so that you can add a quote-unquote recommended texture pack onto your multiplayer server so that whenever you log in, it'll prompt you saying, there's a texture pack that's recommended for this. Do you wish to try it? And you can click yes or no. So <laughs> something kind of neat. Um, there's TNT. More, more TNT. We need more TNT. <laughs> he jumped off. <laughs> he was like, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. And, oh, and some people might even say it's a creative mode thing. So just to prove that uh, the ability to push someone off a cliff isn't like something that's limited to creative or rather you know, like you can only do it when you're on creative or only can't do it when you're on creative. We set ourselves to survival and we walk right through each other. We are ghosts in this machine of Minecraft. <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, um, do you think that's about all that we have to cover? That's Yeah, that's about all I can think of. That's about all I can think of, too. Um, again, this is a very unconventional sort of snapshot review. We may very well have missed a whole bunch of things. I see a giant TNT ball up there, so I definitely need I wanna to light. I want to go light it. I'm going to go light it. We're going to do this. We're totally going to do this right now. Okay, let's do this. All right, jumps up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Leroy Caveman. <laughs> Leroy. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed uh, this little unconventional snapshot review. I know I did. <laughs> My name is Aminem. And I'm Caveman Films. And we bid you all farewell. <laughs>